Good morning, everybody. It is a terribly gray, rainy, stormy day out there. So we're actually not going deer hunting, even though there are only three days left in the deer season. We just uh, decided it's too hard on the gear and the clothes to get everything dried out for, you know, the last two days. So hopefully we're going to take today off and then, you know, Saturday and Sunday are the last two days. We'll be able to get out and pound it hard. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I get a feeling where this deer season is going, but fear not guys, because I have a secret plan. Okay. If we don't get a deer in rifle season. I've got Tom's bow. I'm gonna take a day. Uh, I got enough scraps over at Dad's. I can quickly build a stand. We've been putting out some apples and pumpkins and things over at Dad's place while they're rebuilding his new house. Nobody's up in the woods behind there. And I may do a few more days of bow season, okay? So for those of you guys that are just absolutely loving the hunting series, I wanna talk about that too because I have done YouTube now for 11 years, 12 years. We have done hundreds of hunting videos over that time. I don't know why. This is the first season that we actually had videos take off multiple days. Pretty much every day we are getting a minimum of four to 5,000 views on these hunting videos, which is awesome. Love you guys. But I, I still suspect something weird goes on at YouTube. Um, Take, for example, the first video that we put up day one deer season this year went up to 28,000 views. My regular 1,500 guys watched that video, commented, thumbs up, all that stuff, okay? After that first day, what I find weird about this YouTube algorithm, okay, is we went up another 27,000 views. We don't hardly get, you know, maybe 50 more thumbs up and like no comments, like 10 more comments. To me, it's like YouTube is somehow, I've seen this before, just randomly taking videos and I don't know what they're doing, but it's like it's not real interaction with people watching my videos. I would think if 27,000 more people watched, I would get two or 300 more comments from strangers saying, hey, good job, or hey, I hate this effing video, whatever the case may be, I get nothing. And it just seems weird to me. So I have long suspected that YouTube fudges their numbers for advertising groups and things like that. And I don't know, but hey, you know what? We made, probably made 200 bucks on that video and that paid for the week of gas for hunting season. So I'm not gonna complain just from that one video, which is awesome, but we make thousands of videos on this channel that are the same content, the same quality. And, you know, we get one out of, you know, 500 that takes off. So I, I can't explain it. We're over that. I don't care, right? I do it for my regular followers, the guys that are members and supporting us. You know what adventures we do and have. And there are some updates I want to give you guys because I've decided to purchase a couple of things that's going to make our life easier. Black Friday is here and something I've struggled with for a long time on the channel is music. Now this isn't an affiliated, you know, I'm not, I, <laughs> we're not, yeah, both of these things that I bought, I'm kind of annoyed they didn't support the channel. I asked before I bought and never got any response. One of them is I bought a membership for audio, A-U-D-I-I-O, which is a music um, source. We can get uh, royalty-free music for all of our videos. And I have had trouble for literally five or six years, guys. YouTube's creative, I forget what it's called, the creative zone, whatever, it sucks. They might add five new songs a month. Everybody's, you know, if it's on one channel, it's on a thousand. Anyway, we've resolved that because yesterday they had a Black Friday sale, which was lifetime subscription, $284 Canadian. Lifetime subscription. And I was like, we can't pass up on that. So you guys are going to see more music in the videos. A lot of the nature ones, the trail camera videos, we've always used music in those. It's gonna be better music. I've actually had <laughs> music on the computer saved that I've reused over videos because I can't, couldn't find anything that I liked. Not gonna be a problem anymore. And I wanna thank you guys, the members of 
all the channels, okay? We actually can, uh, you guys can sign up now on this channel to be members as well. And I don't expect any of you guys that have done that on the Bigfoot or Gary channel to do that over here. It doesn't matter to me which channel you guys become members on because we use all of the funds for all of the channels. Really the adventures cross over on these channels, right? We're doing the same stuff. We're either hunting Bigfoot or hunting deer. <laughs> There's a lot of hunting uh, or hunting ghosts, okay? So yeah, it's all about hunting on this channel. Now we do lots of stuff. You guys who watch the three channels, Unfrequented World, uh, Bigfoot or Gary, and Metal Detecting Lost Treasure. Those are the three channels that we do. And I just put the funds into one pot and whatever channel needs something, or we have a fancy, you know, for a new metal detector or something, that's what we use it for. I'm upfront, honest, open with you guys. I don't have to be, but I do feel like it's a partnership. You guys are telling me what you want me to use the funds for and what you want to see on the channel. We bought a kayak, we have bought a new detector before, we have bought audio stuff. Now I just bought the audio subscription, so that's gonna be, that's a huge load off my mind. It was always stressful to the point where I actually didn't use as much music in, in the videos as I wanted to. So that's not gonna be an issue moving forward anymore. Uh, and then the other thing I bought was, I wanted to buy a new gimbal for this ZV-E1 camera. This camera is light enough and small enough that it should be able to go on a gimbal and we should be able to get some awesome stuff with a full frame camera mounted on a gimbal. So I was like, now is the time to do that. We have our smooth gimbal for the phone, which I don't use because the software is terrible and it won't actually let you hook up and sync with the phone and do 4K, 60 and all that. So there's limitations and it's just annoying. So that's why I don't use the phone gimbal. Anyway, we ended up buying a new gimbal and we purchased a new MT2 um, AI tracking gimbal from Hohem. And what it has that's special is it has a tracking module that clips magnetically right to the gimbal and you, you give it an OK sign like this and it starts tracking you. So wherever you move, it follows you around. And it's like having a cameraman. So pretty cool, uh, $376 to try this out. And it comes with all the attachments for phone, uh, GoPros, and you can put a, a fairly decent sized camera and lens on there. It'll definitely, the ZV-E1 will, it's the lightest full frame camera you can get, so there's no problem with that. Now I did contact these guys beforehand, they never got back to me, even though they have an influencer contact, you know, marketing thing. But that's okay, because I feel like now there's no pressure on me to review this thing. We bought it, we own it. I always give you guys an honest review, but this way, we don't even have to review it. We just get to use it and try it out and show you guys these are all the cool things we can do with it. So I'm really excited and stoked. I'm trying to inspire myself to be more creative. And the videos that we make, I want to do more um, nature stuff for you guys, but make it interesting in terms of different kinds of shots and things that uh, we don't normally get or just something to spark my creativity that makes me want to get out and film more. And a gimbal is something, you guys know I was interested, like I say, in gimbals before. We bought the one for the phone. It just didn't work out. The software was terrible. But in this case, there is no software that we're running. It's just hand signals. And the little tracker module does all the work for you. It's not part of the camera. So, hey, I'm, I'm super stoked. I'm looking forward to that. So this is just an update video to touch on a few of the things, like I say, that I wanted to thank you guys and let you know where we did put some of the money into a new piece of equipment and the new audio, which is awesome. And I also wanted just to let you guys know, don't fret that deer season's coming to an end and we don't have a deer because I do have plans for that. Also, we're gonna get out in the woods as much as we can, snowmobiling, ice fishing. There will be some nature stuff because I wanna do more snowshoeing and skiing this year, cross country skiing trying to get in shape for next baseball season. I had a terrible baseball season this year, pulled both my Achilles, and I'm still recovering from that here in November. And the final baseball game was back at the end of August. So that's how bad I, I hurt myself. Been going to the gym, been doing a strengthening routine, and I'm, you know, this winter is all about dropping the 10 pounds that I always say I'm gonna do. I actually have lost a little bit of weight, but then put on some weight from going to the gym. So it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> It is what it is, right? Gary, yeah, just gotta be happy with what you got, folks. When you're hitting, getting close to 50, this is what I got. <laughs> See the white box on the chickadee's eye when they land? Like, I'm not even touching the camera right now, but all I would have to do is hold the shutter down 
and uh, it would be locked right on their eyes. The new autofocus system in the ZV E1 is amazing. It kind of makes me want to buy a new A7R5 for all my wildlife photography when it can just lock right on the eye like that. That's crazy. And if we notice, the chickadees are a black eye on a black face. And the camera is still picking out that eye. It's doing a phenomenal job. Look at that, right on the eye. And if it doesn't go to the eye, it will go to the body. So you're never going to miss the shot. Look at how fast these little guys are.